already then. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and give you a quick tour of my new room. A little, little while ago this past summer, I moved to a new house and a lot of you were asking me for an updated video of my studio. So my room is my studio as a lot of people that I know their rooms are their studios as well. This is my drafting table. Uh, what it is is just a drafting table. It was one of the stock drafting tables from Michaels and then <laughs> you can see where I recently dropped a painting. Not cool. It looks <laughs> It looks like a unicorn had a whoopsie in here. This has all of my art supplies in it. I would not recommend the set of drawers for anyone just because it actually is horrible. That's why I stuck it in the corner is because it's leaning. Uh, this is where I edit all my videos. This is also where I put makeup on and get... Hello. <laughs> where I get ready for the day. Up here we have my obsession with all my Sooms and I have a couple of little little friends right here. So I have my little Doctor Who people and I've got all my favorite Sooms and then everybody in the back and I've got the little drawings like challenges that I made a little while ago. Stand up. And then I have my library of inspirational books. So here are all my inspirational books. I got snow globes. <laughs> So I have all these books that I use to find inspiration. A couple of them are coloring books and pictures. The only Swarovski crystal I know I own is a little parrot. Up here we've got some more Jim Shores. I'm a huge collector of anything. Peter Pan, of course. So I've got this Peter Pan, that Peter Pan, and the Darlings. And then I've got some inspirational quotes. I've got a picture that I had Josh Groban sign. A little tree that lights up. It's pretty cool. There is my movie ticket jar. Good memories all inside. Very cool. Very cool. I've got my Harry Potter books. Harry Potter books and then a Polar Express snow globe that just sits in the corner until it's Christmas time. <laughs> a bunch of other books. Here's my light board. This is kind of a shelf for me to just grab and go. It's got my sketchbooks that I need. I've got my tone gray, my tone tan, small and big. And I've got scripts, and I've got my bullet journal, and then I've got little itty bitty journals. This is a chaos shelf. Everything else is kind of a little bit organized. <laughs> but this is a chaos shelf because I need it, and I need to grab it, and I need to go. So that's why I have a chaotic shelf, just because it's there for me in the moment. I keep all my Prismacolor pencils in this box, and I also have... All under my bed is a bunch of storage units, so it has cubby holes underneath, and that's where I store most of my art supplies. More paper and more colored pencils. My dog sleeps here. <laughs> and then I love my chair. And then I've got my nightstand, and I've got a Kindle, my glasses, because I am blind without them, or contacts. I love lamp. I have a pull-out drawer so I can edit everything in my galaxy, my pad, my mouse pad is a galaxy pad, got that from Amazon, you can get almost everything from Amazon. I bought this about five years ago. I watched the Blacklist episode where the killer was picking up people and spying through them through their webcam, so that's why that's there. <laughs> Here's my collection of all my beautiful ears. I have my Bell's ears from my Flower Crown Bell's ear. I've got my Gryffindor Hogwarts headband. I've got my Rose Gold ears, my typical mini ears, my Doctor Who ears, my... I actually made this flower crown and then I bought this from this one from a renaissance festival so I just have them there so I can smile a little bit of Disney to my room. All kinds of jewelry. I own about 30 Alex Nani bracelets <laughs> and then I have this fantastical mirror that I bought I'm gonna say maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> so I have this mirror and I just add little things to it. That's my bell rose. No, get out of the way. Mermaid pillow original artwork that are galaxy inspired made for me um, from a local artist and that's just a nice background because I don't have curtains for my windows I really need to get some now I don't really hang many posters up but I have a good few I've got my my wonderful flash switch foot and then the great comet and then you probably if you've seen the video of me making this ginormous canvas here it is <laughs> it's Hanging out with Aslan, that's my degree, my bachelor's degree. Some more artwork 
that was given to me. And then if you know Max Steven, he sent me some prints and these were my two favorites so I hung them up. This is Weska Yuskowski. I love hanging up stuff all over my room that people give to me in person. And then here's some two local artists. Look how cute it is! My boyfriend gave that to me. And then I have a couple more that were sent to me. I love this because of how awesome the cross hatching is and also the vantage points are on point in this. He's carrying a red balloon, oh no! And then I've got this from Elijah which is just awesome because it was my two dapper day outfits in the past and oh I just love I love the transformation and I want mm -hmm, this needs to hang up forever this is probably one of the best finds I've ever had I don't have that many Copic markers and I didn't start off with a ton I started off with 78 so I have more and I've grown in my collection since but this is just a really nice find I can keep putting more and more markers in here and then I've got a couple more supplies. There's some lead in here. I've got my story cubes, acrylic painting supplies. I have a designated water cup. So I just keep all of this under here, under my bed. And these are full of these cubby holes all over my bed. It's really nice to have. I don't really have much of a view. <laughs> you can crawl. You can crawl out of my my window and just walk right on out. <laughs> so. It's a good way to sneak out. Not that I really need to sneak out, but still, I can sneak out. <laughs> I miss watching cars. <laughs> My designated watercolor cup. And then each and every single one of these drawers, I've got supplies. So I've got a hole puncher, ruler, tons of inks, some watercolor pencils, all my watercolor supplies. It's, it's a chaotic fashion. Tons of pens and I really need to get a storage unit for my pens, but right now I have a designated liner and pen drawer. Um, some more acrylic paint. Some acrylic gouache. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this overall studio tour because honestly you don't need a studio to do art. All you need is your room and that's what I wanted to show you is just that I have a perfectly set up room that acts as both where I sleep, I hang out, and that I actually do art. I mean, I have two desks. That's the extent of my studio. I get inspired. I need at least a window in my room, but I just wanted to show you guys that you don't need a separate room. I mean, it's awesome to have a craft room and a studio room, but I like that I can work in my room and just still be inspired and not feel like I have cabin fever or, you know, just to be constricted creative-wise. So I really do enjoy my room. It's a good room. I miss, I do miss my old room sometimes, but it, this is a nice, this is a nice setup, a nice room. It's just, it's, I mean, I fit everything in here the same as my last room. So, I mean, it works out. <laughs> do, 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 do. I can't do this when I don't have another hand. Blah, 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 blah. 